A lot of people have been asking me about how do I stay motivated and how do I go through hard days? Do I ever have hard days? I understand that I'm a human, just like you. We're both the same. But I understand we have different thresholds. Different thresholds, the best way to put it is percentages. So the best explanation or the best sort of illustration I can give you is, imagine there's a man that has 2,000 pounds and another man that has 200 pounds. A man that has 2,000 pounds gives you 200 and the man that has 200 pounds gives away his 200. Which one has more value? Well, the one that gave you 200 pounds that only had 200 because he gave 100%. Whereas a guy that has 2,000 and only gave 200, only gave 10%. What am I trying to what am I trying to get to here? Sometimes we're so focused with comparing yourself to others. Sometimes you're so focused with seeing how much this guy's doing or seeing how much this guy's pushing in the gym or this guy looks like he's running more. Comparing yourself is a comparing game, but you need to understand that the percentages that we put in are the same. So for example, for me, I've got a high threshold in training because I've been training for a long time and for me to get myself in an uncomfortable state will be a lot is a lot higher than an average person that doesn't train and when you have hard days this is what I do so today was one of those days today was a day where I went to the gym I didn't want to go to the gym the voice in my head was telling was telling me ah oh, you're going to the gym like it was trying to find excuses not to go to the gym my emotions were telling me not to go to the gym because there was some news that happened I was not feeling the best again I'm a human just like you I have my ups I have my downs this is normal, this is human, this is this is what makes us us. So every time you see me going hard on my Instagram stories, every time that you see me not missing, I choose not to miss. It's a decision. My emotions is something I can't control. That's one thing when you when you hear that a loved one passed away or you break up from a relationship, you feel sadness, you have to feel it, but you don't choose to stay there. That's the difference. So for example, today I heard some news and I woke up and I didn't want to go to the gym and I said to myself, I don't want to go back to who I was. I need to go to who I want to be. How do you do that? By listening to your conscience. Always your conscience will tell you, go to, go to the gym. But when you try to reason with your conscience, it makes sense because I can say I'm sad. But me being able to stay in my bed and not going to the gym, what is that going to do for me? Is that going to make me feel better? It's not, it's going to make me feel worse. Because when I get to that stable point, to that stable way of thinking, now that my emotions have gone down, so neutral, how am I going to feel? I broke my word, I should have done this, I should have done that. So understand you're going to have days when you're not going to feel as motivated. But what you do, you keep on going. You follow the daily process. What can I do today that's going to make me get closer to where I am to tomorrow? You might not have all the motivation that you normally have. You, not might have. you might not have that willpower. It's okay, you give as much as you can, your percentages. Today, the session, my boxing session that I had today, it wasn't the best boxing session. I was very sluggish, my coach said to me, what's going on, uh, you're moving slow today. But I was given my 100% of, of what I could give. Honestly, give you 100% because that session might not have been as the other sessions, but I went, I didn't miss, I showed up. And that's the most important thing because that translates to everything. There's no point of you looking good when days that you feel good, it's all about when the days that you don't feel good. That's the day that it makes a difference. That's the day that it counts. So that's where we work up to you. And why do I train so much? Because it translates into everything in life. When problems come up, what do you choose to do? Fall into your emotions, feel sad about yourself and stay there. Understand that the way you're feeling, emotions or energy is emotion, they go up and down. That fluctuates. But what you have to do has to stay the same always because you have to do what you got to do to get to where you want to be. And that's the, that's the issue with a lot of people. Don't, make that, don't let that be an issue with you. Your emotions can be up and down. Follow the daily process. Think about what do I have to do today? If you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed, it's because you're thinking about the future. What is going to happen tomorrow? You don't even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. So think about what you can do today that's going to bet tomorrow. If you're feeling sad and upset, it's because you're stuck in the past. You keep on thinking about what could have been, but what could have been is never going to be because you're not going that way and it's never going to come back. Don't stay focused on that. What do you have? You've got now. If you stay stuck in the past, it's going to freeze you from moving in the present. If you stay focused on the past, in the future, you, it frees you from being in the present. And the present is the only thing you have in the present. It's the only thing that's going to help you get to the future. So don't focus on that. Yes, I'm human. Yes, I feel sad. Yes, I feel upset. Yes, I get angry. But these are all things that you need to keep control, control at a minimal. Don't let the emotions control you. You control your emotions. How do you do that? By acting. Make sure you do what you have to do. And that's, it translates into everything. Yeah, you might not give 100%, but make sure you give your 100%. Don't ever compare yourself 
sometimes I see people at the gym lifting crazy weights, people making more money, people make, buying better cars. And when you look everywhere else, instead of in front, that's when you get lost. Because again, it goes by percentages. It goes by percentages. If today you manage to lift 80 kilos and that's the highest you can ever lift, and I go to the gym and I warm up with 80 kilos, who has more, whose 80 kilos has more value? Well, your one, why? Because that was your 100% and the other person was just warming up with 80 kilos. So if they're doing that, they're not pushing themselves to their maximum potential. And that's all you should care about, that you're pushing yourself to the maximum potential because why? When you're in discomfort, that's when growth happens. Understand that problems and these, when they arise and you feel up and down, don't view them as like, ah, oh, I feel down. View them as obstacles that you have to get over. And when you get over them, you get better. When you get better, you grow. And when you grow, you get closer to the person you want to become. So problems are a good thing. Don't run away from them, face them. That's what you need to do. So remember, when you have bad days, understand everything that you're working up to leads to this day. Focus on this day. Just today, what can you do now to get you to where you want to be? If you've had a rough start, I want you to imagine a bag of money. Someone gives you, you've got a bag of money every single day. When you have a bad day, someone cuts it open and you start to lose money. What do you do? Do you just let the bag of money get to an end? You don't, you quickly, Try to fix it and don't let the money come out. It's the same when you have a bad day. When you start off having a bad day, you hear some bad news, someone's just ripped your bag and some money comes out. You lose some sometimes during the day, you feel bad. What do you do? You don't stay the whole day waiting for all the money to come out. You would wait till the day ends. Let me wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. You don't do that. You fix the way you're thinking straight away. You fix it and you continue having a good day. Why are you gonna wait till tomorrow? Why are you gonna wait till next week? Why are you gonna wait till the new year to make that change? Change it now, change it as soon as possible. How do you do that? Change your trailer thought. Sometimes the reason you can't control it is because you've never reached failure. You've never got to the point of not having any, to not give more. How do you do that? The best way is put yourself through physical strain, extreme physical strain. And at that point when you reach the extreme physical strain, you don't feel anything, you don't have problems. You have not taken yourself to failure. You need to take yourself to failure. What is one way that I try to do that every single day? Do burpees. How is one way that you, that you make yourself very, very uncomfortable? Wake up at 5 a.m. What is one way that's gonna make you very uncomfortable? Make sure you eat all your meals. What's way, one way that's gonna make you very uncomfortable? Challenge your thoughts. What's one way that's gonna make you uncomfortable? Go to the gym consistently. These are things, these are not problems. These are things that you need to go because they make you grow as a person. So understand, you're a human. You're gonna have your ups and downs, but never let your emotions affect the actions that you put today. So that's all I have to say. If if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Sunwa underscore. You'll see the stories and it'll, this is a drip feed of information, drip feed of knowledge, a drip feed of reflections that will benefit you so much. If you wanna know more on how you can control your life in 90 days, DM me 100 on Instagram and we can help you change your life in 90 days. Let's go.